Hey guys! So, I'm going to get back into this game. So, I <laughs> fixed it from last night because I was a dumb dumb and forgot to save the correct day. So, I fast forward all through all everything. Pretty much a quick lowdown for those of you that are here that were not here yesterday. This is Twitch Plays Pokemon. It is from a subreddit of amazing creators. Um, who came together and made this amazing Pokemon dating sim that I'm absolutely addicted to. My friend Cole, aka Rex, um, introduced me to it and I really wanted to stream this. I was really, really excited when she brought it up to me as well. So, you know, oh, thank you, Sky, for the hundred bits. I appreciate it so much, man. You're awesome. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into it. If you guys don't remember, um, I am playing <laughs> a character named RJ, also nicknamed as Burrito. Um, Burrito is the nickname that their parents, um, ha especially their mom, um, nicknamed them. And their mom actually wrote Burrito as their real name, so that's what everybody ends up calling them. And they're a brand new um, sophomore at um, Twitch Academy, and they're a little overwhelmed trying to find the lay of the land. They have this really awesome roommate uh, that's a Xantu named Will, and he can talk to you in your mind and doesn't talk out loud ever. <laughs> He's pretty crazy. And <laughs> I'm. We're gonna go on day four. Day four. Okay, let's get back to this. This time I actually woke up a bit before Will's morning alarm. Maybe I'm starting to get used to it. Good morning, Will. I was restless again. Really? Oh, I guess my mind was probably overwhelmed by all the club invites. Always like this? It's so chaotic. But, but I'm nothing special. Why would they think that? Well, maybe. Oh, oh, okay. I'll try not to let it worry me anymore, okay? Anyway, it's time for class, isn't it? I better get going. See you later, Will. Off to class we go. Hey, it's Lance. Come on, kids. Hurry up. Me being late won't be a daily thing, you know. Everyone here? Good. Good. This is Lance. He's the technology teacher. Um, he is pretty cool. He's also um, one of our love interests in this game. Um, dad. Her name's Katie. Well, he's on time today. An improvement, I suppose. I wonder what he has planned for us. Knowing him, he's probably going to tell Lancebot to fire hyper beam until he can't <laughs> hyper beams until he can hit whatever he's aiming for. Um, so Lance has made a robot named Lancebot. Lancebot? Yeah, Lancebot. And it on the first day of the class, he told it to do hyper beam and it kind of exploded the whole entire place. Now, our dear principal has kindly informed me that my lesson's plan of tell Lancebot to fire hyper beams until he can hit whatever he's aiming for won't work. Thanks. Thank our chaos. There's a disappointing lack of size greeting that news. Ah, well, not everyone appreciates the beauty of running for your lives for, from a maverick robot clone. Oh, dear. Dad! And believe it or not, I don't particularly want to spend my day running from a maverick robo clone either. Last time I showed you a prime example of how technology can be misapplied, albeit unintentionally. You mean to tell us you didn't intend to blow up the classroom? What a shock. <laughs> There's a time and place for snark ATV, but not now. I regret to tell you all that today is going to be serious. Before we can move on to fun stuff like building robo clones or uh, robo clones of each other, we need to understand how to be safe while doing so. For example, for, for example, warp panels. 
those harmless devices that we can use to get around places more easily, they're a lot more complicated than they look. Could someone please explain what would happen if their quantum entanglement detectors were calibrated incorrectly? What? I... Er, except for you, ATV, I know that you know. Lance seems to hold ATV in very high regard. No wonder Katie has a rivalry with him. I choose to take that as a compliment. <laughs> anyway, the point I was trying to make here is that one of that one of the simplest inventions in our world has the potential to be concrete incredibly lethal if not built correctly. If a single screw is out of place on a warp pa panel, you could have half your body sent where you wa want it to go, while the other half is sent to ore. I know, right? Seriously, you would not want to go to ore. See, that's why I never use warp panels. It's much safer to dig to where you want to go. Technically true, but we're in a building that lacks any form of automatic movement device. That means there's no danger that it could be averted by digging tunnels to travel. Nor have you ever aimed for anywhere with your tunnels. Uh, okay. Anyway, enough dancing around the topic at hand. I'm going to demonstrate to you all exactly why you should ne never fuel an experienced share with a power cell. Can I have a volunteer to wear the experience share, please? Hey, Jez. Get back to the room, get back to the room, get back to the room. Dad, that would be an ex incredibly dangerous. Well, obviously, the entire point of today's lesson is to demonstrate the inherent danger that comes with improper use or construction of technology. No, no Dad, I mean having a mon wear it will be dangerous. Of course. I'm glad someone pointed that out. Good job, Katie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks. I really thought he was going to make somebody wear it. Oh, jeez. See, there was a point to this uh, <laughs> cadaver. Uh, so, excuse me. See, there was a point to this cavalier act I've put on today. It's true that technology can be da dangerous, but the most important thing to have when working with wires, gears, and gizmos is common sense. Thank you, Cole, for the treat for Lupin and Tonks. And basically, if you think it won't work, don't try it. Or at least, very least, talk to me. Or at one of, or one of last year's students, or ATV. I'm starting to get the impression that Lance may possibly have a favorite student, just maybe. Might have four wheels, just saying. Yeah, I, I don't think he has common san sense either, Cole. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. So, now that I, I've warned you all about the dangers of messing around with machines, I am effectively immune to lawsuits you guys bring about on yourselves. Oh, is that how that works? Does anyone have suggestions as to what to do for the rest of the class? You could explain how warp panels work since right now ATV seems to be the only one who actually knows hmm that that take more than one class period any other ideas oh well you could show us how to create internet browser extent uh if I may interject with my opinion perhaps we could go to the library we could research various incidents of machinery mishaps as a way of reinforcing the lesson you so Creatively taught us. Are you kids serious? No one's going to ask to just dismiss class right now? Not any of you? We are in school to learn, are we not? Speak for yourself. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Joe. All right, to the library. Everyone pile in the Lance Mobile. Who here has a license? All right, all right, we'll walk. Jeez, back in my day, kids had a sense of humor. Hey, Abba, isn't that your brother, Brian? Yes, it appears it is. I wonder what he could possibly do be doing out of class at this time. Maybe he's Brian's pulling an Abby. Hello, Professor Lance. I'm just getting some more tallows for Miss Misty. Uh, are, are you going to the 
Uh, oh. I have a class to get to. Have a good day. Not going to finish that. No. All right, it's cool. I, I was an angsty teenager once, too. Mysteriously dropping the top topic mid-sentence was cool in the 80s as well. Huh. Was Brian just in a hurry, or... I will steer clear. I will steer this class to the library if I have to sacrifice my tail feathers to do so. No more delays. Let's go. Hello You're, there. Hello there. Hey, Shell. You remind me of one of my old teachers. All right, come on, kids. We don't want to have two anger, angry birds on our hands. Well, pause. Wheels. I appreciate the special mention. Here we are, kids, the library. An example of how a closed mind can drain countless precious resources from a rapidly dwindling population, culminating in the eventual destruction of mankind. Huh? I'm referring to, of course, to our dear principal's fossil-headed in inability to understand the myriad uh, my myriad benefits associated with simple giving students the latest and greatest technology. A respectable yet affordable tablet capable of holding literally millions of books makes more sense than a, taking up valuable, valuable land and paper with a library. And that was my backup plan. After I initially tried using a machine to laser carve the contents of a book into a mon's memory. That's okay, Shell. Stay as long as you wish. Everyone's left, Dad. Oh, oh, that's all right. I was only taking talking to Burrito here. You can go. Anyway, Burrito, I was wondering if you could help me with another small experiment. Sure. I'm not the telepath here, Burrito. Could you speak, you know, vocally? Oh, oh, of course. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's just a silly little test, but I noticed that last time you seemed to have trouble focusing your psychic power- back, Excuse me. Focusing your psychic powers on those specks of dust. Perhaps if you were given a larger target, it would be easier to interact with. Try and do something, say, to this book. Lift it, slide it, open it. I don't really care. The rise and fall of the Napoleon, Napoleonic Empire. Hmm. This book is massive. I doubt I could move it, even if I just use my paws. Are you sure it's safe to? Maybe. Thank you, Shell, for the treat for Lupin and Tonks. That's not very reassuring, but I guess I can try. Mm. Move the book. Move the book. Hmm, nothing. That's probably the safest outcome in this scenario, though. Safest? All right, thanks for your help. You can go and read until class is over. Thank you, Huff Sam, for the follow. Welcome to stream. Hope you enjoy. If you're not sure where to start reading, I recommend The Seven Habits of Highly Insane AI. It's quite enlightening. Eh, thanks, I suppose. Well, I could do that, or I could talk to someone. Katie and ATV are busy arguing as well, while Digrat, Digrat is... Where is Digrat? Who dug a hole in my carpet? Well, there's my answer. So that leaves Abba. He seems to be reading quite intently, but he's also muttering to himself every so often. Oh wait, Mary's over there in the corner. Maybe her teacher let her out as well. I've really, I haven't really made the best impression on Mary so far. Still, I need to remove her book, uh, return her book sometime. But that book Lance mentioned did sound kind of interesting. Hmm. What do I do? We, we need to give Mary back her book. She dropped it and we got to do that. You're not going to annoy her this time, capiche? Um, hello? Um, Mary, is it? Huh? You know, you reminded me of my roommate, Will. He's a da- Santu? So? Um, 
yeah, I should have figured that wouldn't work either. So, um, um, what are you doing in the library? Did your teacher let your let you out of your class? Yes. Ah, cool. Okay. Um, what else can we talk about? Oh, um, Mr. Lieutenant Sarge was pretty upset yesterday, but you still stood up for what you thought was right. That's pretty admirable. Yeah, I, I guess. That's all you have to say about that? What's wrong with not saying much? Nothing, I, I guess. It's probably better than saying too much, yeah. Very true. Um, looks like I need to practice on, practice what I preach. I thought we bonded a bit over salsa the other day, but maybe not as much as I'd hoped. Well, if she prefers being quiet most of the time, I guess I'll just have to respect that. But that doesn't mean I should stop being friendly towards her. I mean, she really, I mean, she really hasn't pushed me away yet. Ah, yes, before I forget. Oh yeah, that's right, your book. You dropped it at lunch the other day? Oh, is that so? Thanks. No problem. I actually finished it um, just as lunch ended back then, so I kind of forgot about it. Oh, so that's why. I was kind of wondering why you weren't looking at it for it. Well, that's some... Uh, that's important. Yeah, sorry, guys. Well, that's... What's important is that things are back where they're supposed to be. Huh. Huh? Guess I'll see you again sometime. Oh, seems like she's okay with me being around. Score! That's a pretty big milestone, I think. <laughs> Wink. What? What? Oh, dear. Class dismissed, everyone! Man, the cafeteria seems noisier than usual after spending all the time in a quiet place like the library. Hmm. I think I'll try eating outside today. That would be a good change of pace. Since I already have my lunch, might as well find a place to relax in the great outdoors. We passed through the courtyard on the way to the library. It looked like a good place to have a meal. Time to chow down. Good night, Jess. Sleep tight. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna eat my food. That was delicious. Nobody stole my food this time. This is great. Hmm. The weather really is nice today. Warm with a slight breeze. Almost enough to make me fall. Uh. Sleep. Hmm. Hey, is that? Yeah, it's the transfer student. Did I tell you that we have tech, tech class together? Really? Sweet? That man has some weird name, though, right? Yeah, Burrito. We haven't had time to talk much, but... But I'll get an interview soon enough. Uh, I think I hear voices. Wait, what time is it? <laughs> Who, Who's there? Remember me? It's Digrat from Tech Class. Oh, uh, hi. Hello. And this is Ducks. He helps out with the school newspaper, too. Nice to meet you, mate. You, too. So, all I really do is lug around my camera for this rat's interviews. But that's a very important job. Everyone at Twitch Academy waits with bated breath for the latest episode. Yeah, yeah, if you say so yourself. Haha, <laughs> I do. Hmm, interviews? Yeah, I get up close and personal with all the interesting mons at school. Speaking of which, what? when are you available? M me? Yes, everyone wants to get to know you better. I'm not really comfortable with being the center of attention. Just because I'm a new student and all? Jeez. Um, I'll get back to you on that sometime. Okay, but don't wait too long. I've got a very busy schedule. I'll... I'd better change the subject before he starts interviewing me right now. A anyway, um, what are you guys doing out here? Most moms spend lunch in the cafeteria, right? We're on the hunt for a the next big scoop. Is that is what Digrat would say, anyway. Haha, <laughs> that sounded just like me. 
But really, we're on litter duty. Litter duty? Yep, we have to spend lunch picking up litter on campus. It's our punishment for a story we did on the for the paper recently. The faculty didn't really appreciate it. It wasn't scandalous or anything, just connecting the dots between certain pieces of gossip here and there. I told you it was a bad idea. I don't think I wa want to ask what kind of story it was. And litter duty is pretty typical punishment for us. It's not really a big deal anymore. Maybe, but I'd rather not do it. Seems like you guys get in trouble quite often. Yeah, you would say it's a specialty of ours. Besides, it gives us a reason to be outside on those days like this. Yeah, that's why I was out here in the first place. Oh, not hiding from your legions of fans? My, my what? <laughs> You're so fun to tease. Uh, was that really a joke or? Oh, there's the bell. Uh, and we still didn't finish the areas we were assigned. It's not like we're getting graded on it or anything. They just want us to keep out of trouble. But if that's what they think that they're doing. <laughs> um, all right, time to head to class. See you, burrito. See you guys later. Well, there goes an interesting pair. I wonder how they got to be such good friends. And I wouldn't have been able to chat with them during lunch today if I, ha if I had eaten in the cafeteria. I guess it really was a good decision to eat outside. Plus, that nap earlier helped me regain my energy. This is actually a pretty nice place to hang out. Maybe I should eat lunch here more often. All right, time to head to aquatics class. I wonder what we're going to do today. Oh, we're going to get to see air again, guys. Thanks, sweetheart. Stay safe, okay? I hope we're actually going to get to swim today. So far, the, the name aquatics class has been really misleading. The surface of the water really looks really smooth, which is slightly worrying. If a class had just been in the pool, there would be at least some ripples, wouldn't there? Maybe the ripples just fade really quickly. I didn't really pay attention when air dropped in the pool early, earlier, but if I just tap the pool with my paw, then... Oh, it's just out of my reach. Curse my adorably stubby limbs. All right, stretch. Stretch! Who designed this pool? An Emmy bomb? An Emmy pump, excuse me. Come on, arms, stretch. Boo! <gasps> Oh, laser gators here, guys. Wah! Falling again? Hold up, burrito. I've got you. <laughs> you almost touched the water that time. Wouldn't want that to happen, eh? She, she has such big hands. He held me up like I was a paperweight. Look, laser. Could we talk about this specifically? Could we talk about the possibility of you not giving me a heart attack every time you're around? No promises. Oh, dang. What is it? Nothing. It's just a stupid little thing, really. Go on. Well, you see, I just tried to wink. Then I realized no one would notice anyway. That's the kind of thing you take for granted, you know? i fix something really quick, guys. Something is freaking out on my other monitor. Bear with me for a second. Sorry about this. There we go. Sorry about that. There was something kept popping up on my other screen. 
that I forgot to turn off. Uh, what's the kind of thing you take for granted, you know? Oh, right. Um, if you don't mind me asking. Hey, Laser Gator, stop take talking about feelings. It's unmanly, man. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Les Ness. Sure, you're the expert on that. What? No way, bro! I lift! You lift, Flabe. Maybe. <laughs> right, bro. It's on. Ready? Set? And... No. <laughs> Uh-oh, Misty got in the middle of... Ah! Misty! Go get change. Rough housing around the pool is practically asking to fall in. <sighs> These kids, burrito, time to get changed. <laughs> Better go. I just know I'm going to forget my locker combination sometime. I really should write it down. Wait, I don't have a pen. Um, how can I be in a school and not have a pen easily available? Three, two, fourteen. Man, there's no pattern or mnemonic or anything to help me remember. If only that combination had some relation to something I could easily remember easily. <laughs> oh well. Now, I know that last time some of you were rather antsy about not being able to swim. I've heard numerous complaints from my students that aquatics class is supposed to actually involve water. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer, so without further ado, we're going swimming, right? Without further ado, we will finish up this uh, up this week of land-based exercises so that we can finally start swimming next week. Oh, come on. Tough break, bro. I'd be making my sympathetic face if I had one. And I have a sim uh, you could borrow. Hey, that was an insult, wasn't it? I want to go. You want to go? Possibly on both counts. No, not happening. These kids. Everyone, go out the door to the gym. I'll explain what we're doing when we get there. Whoa, this is a nice gym. And all those banners, trophies, looks like a lot like the school teams have been pretty successful over the years. I'm looking forward to cheering our school on this year. And if I ever want more physical activity, there's always a sports club. And I suppose there's no harm in dipping my feet in the water, so to speak. But in a more literal sense, dipping my feet in the water turned out to be more, be very harmful. Still, it seems like something interesting to try out. If I want to get involved, I should probably talk to Air. Or maybe Abby. She doesn't seem like the sporty type, but I'm pretty sure she said she was involved in so sports somehow. Whoops, I zoned out. I better tune back in. And that is your assignment for today. Even if we're not in water, you had all better take it seriously. Oh dear. Um, Air, what did she say our assignment was? Run around the gym until the class is over? This is incredibly pointless. I'm not even allowed to make a path of ice to slide along. Selma Burrito, what are these? Your flippers? Exactly. I can't run. I mean, I can slide along on ice at, at a good pace, but... Uh, honestly, what? why don't they just allow me to focus on what I'm good at? Do, don't they want me... Do they want me to turn into Abby? Hey, that's not very nice. Sorry, I'm just off my game right now. Couldn't help overhearing your woes. Bet you wish you had feet, huh? Hey, I have feet. Sure, Fawns, but I can actually swim. Suppose you could call me a jack of all trades. Yeah, and I, and I, um, don't even get started with the king of all trade. No. Um, that doesn't really apply to the situation. Sorry, force of habit. Anyway, it's time to get running. Everyone, take your places. Ready, set. She's totally stole our dealy. Our dealy? You know, our, our thingy? I n now completely understand what you're saying. 
Everyone can hear you whispering, Fawns. Go. Better go fast. I probably won't be able to beat these dedicated athletes, but I don't want to end up being last. Whoa, hold on. Hey, Laser, I'll catch up to you. What the heck? Not this time, Fawns. I'll... Ha! Looks like someone's got better feet than you. Oh, no, no. Is everyone still ahead of me? Seriously, Burrito, why didn't you say something? I'm sorry, I'm giving it all I've got, but it's still too slow for you guys. Too slow? More like too fast. You should be really paying more attention to your surroundings. You're about to pass me up and you blew right by, Aaron Fawns. Really? N no, untrue. I'm leading the pack. Don't listen to this vile slander. You're, you're the leader now, Burrito. Congratulations. Now let's see if you can keep it up. I'll do my best. Huh. That's really cool. I didn't realize I'd be that fast, but I guess I never really practiced running until now. Alright, let's practice some more. Um, not what I had in mind, but we've been running for quite a while now. Miss Misty. Alright, kids. Good job. You can start r stop running now. Go change back to your regular co clothes, and I'll see you all next Tuesday. Good timing. Psyduck don't have psychic powers, do they? And we'll f finally be able to swim then, right? No. Just kidding. Yeah, you can swim to your, heart's, to your heart out Tuesday. Don't forget the pool is open for free swim on the weekend, though. Normally, I jump at that offer, but I have prior commitments this weekend. Oh, really? I didn't think anyone, anything would drag you away from the water. What is it? Uh, just something I can't tell you about. Hmm. Seeker, it's time like these that I wish I could really read minds. Anyway, you are pretty amazing earlier. You may be a good, uh, you may be good on the turf, but trust me, I can't be, uh, I, I can't be beat in this surf. I gotta fly. See you later, burrito. Yeah, bye, burrito. Good job out there today. Yeah, hey, burrito. Miss Misty want, want to talk to you in private. Do you know what I mean? Ew. I'm sure I don't have to, anything to say. I'm sure I don't have to say anything, do I? Er, about what? Your land speed is really quite astounding. I'm no sports teacher, but you should really take advantage of that. I'd say you might even be twice as fast as me, on land at least. In summary, good job. Now go get changed. Yes, Miss Misty. Bye! Huh, that was really fun. I didn't even notice that I was going so fast. It al almost seems like it just give gives me some extra energy. I think, I think before I get changed, I might run around some more. Yeah, I'll do that. I can't believe Miss Misty praised my running. For that matter, I can't believe I was faster than every mon in, ch in class today. Guess I never noticed how fast I was. Running laps never seemed that interesting before, so I didn't give it my all. But now I'm actually excited to get back to running. Oh, okay, let's see. If I keep up the pace from earlier. Whew, that was quite a workout. I wonder if there's a water fountain around here. I'm parched. Oh, there, there's one. Ah, so refreshing. I know, right? Water's the best. Especially after workout and during and before. <laughs> you really enjoy water, don't you? Yep. And I was wondering... Why do you play Ultra Ball and not any of the other water sports? I still enjoy playing those sports, but that's mainly because I get to go in the water. With Ultra Ball, I love the sport itself, not just where it's played. The only downside to playing on the varsity team is that I can't just play with my friends. Playing sports with Fawns and the others during sports club last year was really fun, and they were encouraging me. When ca team captains, captains are scouting the sports club for potential members, I had enough confidence to show off my stuff with Ultra Ball. Huh, I see. So that's why you're so close with a lot of the sports club mons. 
Yep. And I happen to have a question for you after seeing your amazing speed during class. Have you ever played Ultra Ball? N no, not really. I've only seen it played on TV, but I do have some idea of how the game works. Want to learn? We're just practicing and it'll help to have another Mon around, even if you don't know how to play very well. Oh, sounds like a good way to run around some more. Plus, I'll be learning from some great Ultra Ball athletes. Sure, I guess I'll ha it'll be fun to try a new sport. Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, I'm back! I thought you were going to look for Abby. She was going to help us practice. You brought the burrito kid? Awesome! I couldn't find her, but burrito was kindly uh, kindly agreed to help us out. Since we're all warmed up for Miss, M Miss Misty's class, let's get right to playing. First, we'll pair up into teams. Fonz, you're on Gator's team. Burrito, you're with me. Burrito, since you're amazing fast, amazingly fast on land, I'm going to try passing you the ball a lot, so you can try and get it past them. Sounds kind of scary, going up again two mons like them, but if I just run fast enough... Okay, I'll do my best. Everyone ready? Let's go. Alright, that's enough practice for today. That was a lot of fun. Burrito, great work out there. Our team's got a lot more points thanks to you. <laughs> really? I'm glad I could help you with all practice then. I'm so powered up after practicing all afternoon. Serve or no reserve, I'm going to make Ultra Ball team this year. Mark my words. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Wait, are you planning on pranking me and sabotaging my chances? Wow, I didn't think you'd know the big word like sabotage. Uh, well, I, um, I did use it correctly, right? Yeah, you know, Fonz. Sometimes I don't think I give you enough credit. Thanks, I think. All right, enough chatting. I'm off to find my next victim. You and Gator have been hanging out a lot lately. Yeah, ever since you become obsessed with pranking Mons this year. He keeps testing new ideas on me for some reason. But he's still a pretty fun guy to be around. Oh, Fonz. Well, let's head back to the dorms. Have a nice eating evening, burrito. Bye, air. Bye, air. Wait up. Playing a sport really does seem like... seem to make you closer with your teammates. I'm still not sure about joining the sports club, but I bet I all get to know some great mons, whatever club I decide on. Oh no! Did I miss Ultra Ball practice? If you mean air, fawns, and gator practicing, then yes. Aww. Knew I was running late, but I thought the guys would still be out here. Wait. What are you doing here? Well, I was around, so Air asked me to help them practice. Oh, really? I hope you weren't too mad that I missed out. No, I think they were happy just to play. So, how was practice? I don't know much about the particulars, but Air did say I helped score a lot of points. I'm actually pretty a fast runner. Huh! S does that mean you're joining the sports club? We could always use some more mons with speed. Uh-oh, not again. Um, I haven't decided what club y to join yet. Well, you're only going to join one club. I guess you want to... Uh, I guess you would want just the right fit. Can't say I blame you. Most Mons can join one or two clubs, though. I have to tell you, being in a lot of clubs is fun as well. Please um, let that be the end of the club talk. Well, since I got here too late, might as well move on to my next appointment. Oh good, she didn't even make a big deal of it. Okay, see you later. Until tomorrow, tomorrow, Tostada. Is she calling me those things on purpose now? Aside, what? That aside, what a busy day. I'm pretty exhausted from all the exercise. Time to change out of these clothes and head back to the dorm to freshen up. 
Ah, that shower felt so good. Especially after all that running. Hey, Will. Yeah, it's been a long day. Oh, but guess what? I was the fastest in aquatics class today. No, on land, not on in the water. I don't think I could be air or misty in the water, though. Oh, we were running laps in the gym. Yeah, but Miss Misty promised we'd get to in the water next week. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks. Good night, Will. And here we go, week one, day five. Ah! Whew, whew. Hmm. Is it time to wake up already? <sighs> hmm. It's kind of nice having someone else wake me up. I haven't had to worry about setting my own alarms lately. Morning, Will. Oh, thanks for waking me up. Well, I wasn't used to it at first, but now it's no big deal. That's right. I almost forgot that the first week of school is nearly over. I've gotten more comfortable here, but it'll be nice to have a break from classes. Hmm. The weekend. Hey, Will. What do you usually do on the weekends? Hmm. Club activities? Guess that makes sense. Oh, sometimes you take the train? Where do you go? You don't really go anywhere. You just like... You just like writing it? You know, I can't actually picture you doing that. Do you have plans? Do I have plans? Oh, well, sort of. Abby said she had something planned for this weekend and that she was going to tell me specifics today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, looking forward to it. Whatever it is. <laughs> Anyway, we have classes together today, so I'm sure I'll be finding out soon. Speaking of classes, it's time to get going. Bye, Will. Looks like the early birds are already here. Katie and Brian are talking over in the corner, and I have no clue how they get here so soon. Will always wakes me up with plenty of time for class, but they still get here before me. Wait, is that... Abby? Huh, Cabrito? Burrito. Oh, of course, how's it going? It's going well, but how are you about you? I've n never seen you conscious this early. Oh, I was up really late last night. We went to Brisk, uh, Zipstrika tipping last night, and we just kept going and going. <laughs> you stayed up late? Substrika tipping? Uh. Oh, right. It went so late, I ended up pulling an all-nighter and getting some other things done. I got a big plan ready for this weekend. Oh, is it about making up for that school tour thing? Yep. Awesome. What is it? It's... Um... I'll tell you after my catnap meeting. Club meeting. Is she really leaving class before it even started? Talk about a cliffhanger. I wonder what her big surprise is. Abby. Y yes, Miss Whitney? This is the earliest I've seen you in one of my classes. Would you mind helping pass out textbooks? Uh, uh, of course. It's no problem. I appreciate your willingness to lend me a hand. Burrito, um, do you have any clue why Abby looks like a zombie? That usually happens when she has to finish last minute projects, but this is only the first week of the semester. She said something about staying up all night and getting some something ready for the weekend. She was yawning too much to tell me exactly what, though. Hmm. Abby's never been a morning mom, but so I'm surprised she showed up to class if she was this tired. Wait, she said something this weekend? It's happening! What is it? We're all going to... Hold up, Abby probably wants to tell the news herself. Just look at the effort she's 
uh, she's made to come here early. Mm, you're right. Sorry, Burrito, but I guess I can't spoil that one for you. It's a shame Abby's not awake enough to tell you herself right now, but I'm sure you'll hear it by the end of the day. Just relax and get, look forward to the weekend. I don't think that you'd get so excited over weekend plans. You both seem like you're enjoy uh, you like enjoying being in school. We do, but it's important to have fun sometimes. A, a sound soul dwells in the sound dwells in a sound mind and sound body. You know? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. It's not good to just focus on academics and ignore the social aspects of school life. Oh, of course, some mons do the complete opposite. Huh? How did I fall on the floor? Uh oh. Looks like Abby just sleepwalked into a desk. I better go help her pick up those textbooks. Have you guys been seeing Abby this morning? I think she forgot to take her awakening medicine. Just like every morning, I suppose. <laughs> Apparently, she pulled an all-nighter. Ah, probably leaning, reading all of A in Streamland. I've done that myself. The plot twist is the latest issue was especially riveting. A in Streamland? It's a classic, Burrito. A classic. One of the best comic books around. Oh, I see. Don't think I'm familiar with it. Don't worry, Brito. It's not that famous. Besides, I don't think Abby reads comic books. Perhaps, but I think she'd prefer them over regular books. And A in Streamland has a great female protagonist. You know, I think I'll introduce the series to her later. When she's awake, of course. Well, he's probably right but about Abby preferring comic books, but I can't see her pulling out real novels like The Great Ghastly. Alright class, now that we've gotten the textbooks passed out, it's time to get started. Let's all turn to page 42. I guess you all recognize this type chart. It describes how each type of mon is related to the others. Oh, I remember learning about this when I was younger and always, it was always fun to learn about the different relationships. Though most mo young mons only cared about how strong their type was. Today, we're going to start getting into more depth about mon types and how they function. Everyone may have different types, but knowing others' strengths is important, and it will help you deal with your weaknesses as well. Myra Faye! Hey, hon! How are you doing? First, we'll be discussing flying, which can be a major, major advantage. The ability to fly anywhere you desire. It certainly is one of the most useful types around. I'm glad, Lyra. It's nice to see you here. Unfortunately, I can't speak about flying from experience. But I know some of you students can help me out here. Let's see, Katie, will you go first? Sure, Miss Whitney. Great. Now, can you give us a quick description of your flying abilities? Well, I can fly faster with the speed of sound. I can fly faster than the speed of sound. Though I usually don't bother to do that unless I'm late for something. My wings are pretty powerful. Although they're small for my body size, they get the job done. And you haven't had the uh, and you haven't always had the ability to fly, correct? Tell us what you did uh, what it was like to adjust. Yes, I wasn't really able to fly until I became uh, became a dragonair. I was looking forward to it though. The dream of flying kept me working hard to evolve. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. At first, I wasn't quite sure how to go about it, and then someone like my, uh, then it seemed like my body knew exactly what to do. And before I knew it, I was in the air. Now that I'm a Dragonite, with a lot more t practice, I've got, I've gotten pretty good at flying. What a great story! Thanks for sharing, Katie. Now, but let's have someone else. Um, Brian? Okay, um, I'll go. Thanks, I'll start with an overview of your flying abilities. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry about that, guys. I'm losing my voice all of a sudden. Lots of talking. <clears throat> I was always able to fly, but the abilities are pretty limited when I was young. Oh, let's return. <clears throat> now I have longer wings, which help me fly at Mach 2 speed. That actually comes in handy. Yes, that's a quite ex a classic example of one's abilities scaling with evolutions. Now that evolving is everything, now... Not that evolving is everything, mind you. Now, as you evolved, was it easy to adapt to flying in your new body? It took a little practice at first, but I got the hang of it before long. Thanks for your great responses, Brian. Man, I wish I could fly. It's cooler than any of my types. Hey, I don't... Hey, don't underestimate the power of poison. Moving on, shall we talk about Mons who have wings but aren't flying types? Me, for instance? I was born. Ahem. Um, maybe later. Now, let's move on to different forms of flight. Ah, oh, that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you all enjoy your lunch. And I'm finally out of here. Time to catch up on sleep. Now, that was kind of interesting. I actually learned a few things today. And Miss Whitney's right. I will enjoy my lunch. Burritos, here I come. Hmm, lots of places to sit today. Abba and Ark are sitting together along with Air. I don't know. I didn't know Air hung out with them. Gator, Snake, and Fawns are crowding over the table over there. ATV's talking to Katie about something. Oh, and there's Mary. Almost didn't see her. I could always sit alone for today. Hmm, which seat should I sit? Let's go hang out with Katie and ATV. That sound good to you guys? Since she's the one that I'm kind of going after anyway. I do like Mary, but she's gonna be hard to woo. Sounds good. Thank you. Where to sit? Where to sit? Huh? Katie doesn't look so good. Maybe I should see what's up. <clears throat> well, if there's time to be a... <laughs> well, if there's a time to be a fluffy sunray, it's now. Um, hey, Kate. Oh, thank Arceus. Burrito, sit down. I, I can't deal with this alone any anymore. Huh? What's the issue? It's like this every day. Burrito, I can't stand it anymore. It's always A team this or <laughs> A poor imitation, my dearest Katie. You really need have to learn to enunciate each part correctly or you're never gonna get it right. But they do say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, so I suppose I'll take your butchery as a compliment. Please, I have better things to do than try to imitate you, ATV. Such as reading the latest issue of A in Streamland, perhaps? Uh, you know I don't do like that stuff. Really? Oh, but I think you'd love the part in the latest issue when... No! Spoilers! Alright, alright. What? It it's not an issue for to me, but there's a lot of moms in the school who read that series. I wouldn't like it if I overheard someone talking about it and I hadn't read it let yet. Would you? Oh, for a while there I thought... Thought what? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I should make a mental note on not to cause an outrage. But you know, though, this A in Streamland actually sounds pretty interesting from what I've heard of it. Really? I mean, if you really want to get into it, ATV is the guy to go to. He has the full collection of first edition comics, and no one at school is more an expert on the series than that geek. Ha <laughs> quite an understatement, don't you think? I guess I can't deny, given what I've heard of him. 
there's some more mons at my school like him, but I don't think I've never met anyone at this level. I'm pretty smart, too. How do you keep it all together? Huh. I appreciate the compliments, but honestly, no. Oh, I almost forgot that I was going to get something from the cafeteria. I'm starving, but I'm not sure what to get. Anyone have any suggestions? You uh, want to try some of my mom's salsa? It probably won't keep if it. I don't eat it all now. And there's a lot, so... Um, I think I'll pass. I heard about that stuff. Uh... Uh, I heard what that stuff did to Brian and Laser. I don't want my skin to match my ribbons, and I've never really wanted to breathe fire. Uh, don't dragons normally do that anyway? Alright, suit yourself. Maybe I can give the leftovers to someone else on my way out. Thanks for understanding, Burrito. I'm not exactly confident that I can eat that. Anyways, I think I just look for somewhat, uh, something to eat myself. I'll be right back. I'll get some grub too. <laughs> and you don't have to come. I'll grab you something. Uh, but how do I know it won't be tainted by the presence of certain food particles that will cause me bodily harm unless I expect it, inspect it myself? Huh? He's allergic to nuts. Oh, that's too bad. But if you really want to try my mom's salsa, it, it should be safe. I know there aren't, aren't any nuts. Thanks, Burrito, but I can't take any chances. Although, if you let me take a sample, I can confirm whether it contains any nut deadly nut particles. Deadly nut particles? ATV sure likes to use complicated phrases, but it means he might enjoy my salsa. All right, I'll, I'll pour some in the cup that into this cup for you. Now my plans are set for the evening. Anyway, ATV, you really don't have to come. You know I wouldn't give you anything with nuts. Well, you haven't done it so far. All right, let's see how you do. Okay, I'll be right back. I really did bring a lot of salsa for lunch today. Are you sure you don't want more ATV for your testing? No, you gave me a sufficient amount. Hmm. Maybe I'll ask someone if else if they... Aha! I smell a scoop. A scoop? Is the salsa that smelly? You can have it if you want, I get. Yes, I can see it now. New student doesn't finish lunch. Is this how Burrito stays so thin and pretty? Tell me, Burrito. What do you say to those accusations? A accusations? Oh yes, this story is just what I need. Out of context, exploitation is always a big hit. He's just ignoring me, isn't he? Hey, um, listen, Burrito, you can play your cards right with me and the school newspaper will pu publish all sorts of stories for you. Your popularity will make even Abby jealous. Yeah, he, he definitely is not a cool dude. I'm your ticket to the stars, baby. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> You know what, that doesn't sound like a far-fetched idea. Or perhaps the salsa contains special properties that even g gives feral gators, uh, feral ga gators to breathe fire. It would become the latest trend. Super spicy salsa starts scorching sensation. Hmm, I like how you're thinking, ATV. What do you say, um, what do you have to say f for your salsa burrito? You're just as bad as ATV did, Rat. <laughs> Thanks. My, such a slew of compliments from you ca today, Katie. You deserve every one of those compliments, ATV. And seriously, Dick Rat, stop pestering poor Burrito. Yes, hmm. I think Ducks is looking for me anyway. Gotta split. Does he even know... Does he even try to stay out of trouble? Anyway, ATV, I got you a smoothie. All fruit, no nuts. A fruit smoothie, huh? I guess you pass. You're welcome. 
now that I've got my smoothie, I better store this salsa, sample of salsa before it gets stale. So if you'll excuse me, the ATV cave calls. Wait, you still owe me- Never mind, I'll get it later. ATV cave? He's probably just running off, I mean, riding off to his dorm. Unless he really does have a secret cave somewhere in the school. I don't really want to know. Let's talk about something else, shall we? How's your day so far? It's going well, I suppose. Besides not getting to hear what Abby was trying to tell me about her weekend plans, have you spoken to Abby since this morning? Nope. I figured she'd be hyperating during lunch. You're probably right. But that's fine. She'll tell you when she's ready. But the weekend's starting tomorrow. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll hear about it before the day's over. You know what it is, right? Can't you just tell me? Sorry, but I promise I wouldn't tell. It's Abby's secret, not mine. Plus, she loves this kind of stuff. She'd be devastated if anyone else told you. Well, okay, okay then. Guess I'll just have to look forward to the surprise. It is a good surprise, right? Burrito, I'm hurt. Of course it is. She sure doesn't look at all, all that hurt. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. Guess I shouldn't jump to conclusions. But I'm really happy um, you all have been so welcoming. It's, well, it's really great. Thanks. And, oh, it's nothing. I mean, you're so nice and all, so it's easy to get along with you. Not like, well, some others I can mention. I'm glad you came over to sit. I'm really glad that you came over to sit over here. Me too. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun having you around. Likewise. But it's about time to head to class, isn't it? I should probably get going. Yeah, me too. Lunch just seems to get shorter and shorter these days. Say, burrito? Yeah? Go ahead and leave the extra salsa. I'll try to give it a try after all. Well then, it's all yours. I'll talk to you later, Katie. Usually surprises aren't my thing, but it's nice to be getting along with other mons here. Their excitement is starting to rub off on me. Whew, what an interesting lunch. Seems like ATV is always on Katie's nerves. But he's usually nice if a bit over-enthusiastic. But enough for the, of that for now. I'm ready for the last class of the week. And when, I wonder if Mr. Lieutenant Surge has calmed down since last time. Hopefully Abby doesn't do anything else to upset him, especially since she's running on very little sleep. Well, I guess I'll grab, grab the seat. Might as well be prepared for class. Hey, Fajita! It's Burrito. I hope you're ready because I'm recovered and ready to enlighten you. Ahem. Uh, right after class? That's more like it. Better pay attention. All right, class. I may have gone a bit overboard last time, but I think we all learned something from that experience. Why, it actually reminds me of all the time I've gotten in trouble with my own drill sergeant. But that's a story for another time, and probably not during class. <laughs> so on to today's subject. Now, I'm sure they're all that you're all familiar with the well-known cities of the Cantu region. Viridian City, Cerulean City, Celadon City, and Fuchsia City. Just to name a few. Name a few. Don't forget Cinnabar Island. It's not glamorous or anything like some of the other cities, but I think the volcano was really cool. Well, if we're talking favorite pr places, I spent many years in Vermilion City. The stories I could tell. Actually, Saffron City is the best out there. The way the way that the buildings all reflect the sun, so everything looks fiery golden. Oh, didn't expect Mary to comment on this topic, especially since it's just a discussion on favorite cities. Well, it turned into one anyway. Are you kidding? There's nothing fun to do there. I beg to differ. Hold on, you two. I'm all for debates in an appropriate setting, but not now. 
History is full of differing viewpoints, but so. I'm sure we'll all get a chance to discuss our opinions during our time together. For now, let's get back on topic. Yes, sir. Fine. Very good. Very good. Whew. Mr. Lieutenant Surge handled that pretty well. Things are getting a bit heated for a while there, though. Well, since we're on the topic, does anyone else want to mention their favorite Cantu cities? Canto cities. Pewter City? Pewter, eh? Solid choice. How about you, Burrito? Me, uh, um, let's see. Guess I've all always liked Lavender Town? <laughs> what a great diversity in your answers. You know, war is basically caused by opposing, opposing positions when the parties involved are unable to reconcile their differences. I feel there's a story coming up. When I was a youngster, I went through a period of life with the same attitude as young Abby here, believe it or not. And I was right. And when I met a teacher who changed my life, opened my eyes to the real world, gave me a new perspective on things, even encouraged me to pursue the army. Now, I may not be the teacher, that teacher for you, but I do hope you will all get something out of this class. Wow, that was actually kind of heartwarming. Didn't expect that, especially coming from Mr. Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> I too enjoy discussing architecture in my high school classes. Yeah, that that is a nice thing to discuss. <laughs> okay, enough lecturing. I mean, back to lecturing on Canto history. As I was say, like, saying earlier... So, as you can see, beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. Homework, enjoy your weekend. No homework? Mr. Lieutenant Surge means pretty cool after all. And be ready to go into some important topics next week. Does that mean that what we covered this week isn't really important? Well, class is over, which means it's practically a weekend, and I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, gotta find Abby. It should be okay to ask about her plans now. Hey, Abby, wait up. Hey, I totally forgot that I have a club meeting after class that I can't miss it. Uh, but you said, I know, I know, my bad. I'll come find you afterwards, okay? Sure, I guess. But I'm gonna make, uh, but I'm gonna make you, sure you tell me this time. It's a promise. Can't believe Abby, she's not getting out of, out of it later. If I have anything to do with it. Well, I guess I better find something to do to kill, a, kill the time. Hmm. Maybe someone else wants to hang out with me? One second, guys. I will be right back. Sorry, the hu husband just popped in and I ate all the rest of the Hawaiian rolls from <laughs> dinner and he was coming to scold me. <laughs> but they're so good and there were only a couple left. They were so good though. I was hungry. Let's see, who should we ask? I know. Snake, are you busy? Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask if you wanted to hang out after class. But maybe some other time, if you're busy. Sure. But RSVP first. Ah, uh, are you that busy? Uh, that you have to schedule hangout time? Just kidding. Phew, you had me worried there for a bit. I didn't think Snake was the type of mon to make jokes. Later. Bye! Hmm, who else? Oh, Mary, can I ask you something? What? Um, she doesn't seem like she's in the best mood. Maybe I shouldn't ask her to hang out. But then again, maybe I can cheer her up? Random question, but are you busy now? Why? 
Well, classes are over, right? And Mr. Lieutenant Sarge didn't tell it, did tell us to enjoy the weekend. What are you saying? I just thought that maybe we could hang out a bit after school. Um, for example, maybe you could recommend some books or something. I didn't really bring much entertainment from home. Doesn't seem like she's interested. Guess I'm not that good at cheering her up. Thanks, but not today. I actually do have plans. Oh, I see. Sor sorry for bothering. It, it, it's fine. I'll just see you around then. Everyone else has already left the classroom. Guess I'll just wander around school for now. Maybe I'll run into somebody I know. Wow, it's been two hours. I have yet to see anyone I recognize. The library was empty beside the light besides the librarian, and there was absolutely no one at the gym. Wait, who's that up ahead? Laser Gator! Good afternoon, President Abba. Anything I can help you with? Oh, looks like Abba's talking to Gator. Maybe maybe one of them is free. Don't play a fool. You know what this is about. On second thought, I better not interject. Abba does not look happy. What could you be talking about? Toilet paper? In the cafeteria restroom toilet? What? That's unbelievable. Unfortunately, after a student noticed a pool of water coming from the faculties, our custodian was able to contain the mess. Good on, keeper. So that's settled, right? Nothing more to worry about? As it happens, no. The restrooms were out of commission for at least the next few hours, and a culprit has yes, yet to be found. Specifically, a culprit, I believe, is to be you. What? Why would you blame me? You may not have an extensive track record, but your reputation, reputation precedes you. This prank is precisely in your style. That's not proof of anything. Hmm. Hmm? Why are you questioning me? I don't think it was the student council's job to be the police patrol. Good riddance. That bird is going to get himself in serious trouble. Wait! What just happened here? I mean, it seems reasonable for Abba to assume that Gamer Gator would pull a prank like that and want to see him punished for putting Mons in danger, but Gator has a point. It, is it Abba's place to go on a wild Zangoose chase for a prankster? Hmm. Let's see. Let's check on Gator. He just got accused. Hey, Gator! Laser Gator. Laser Gator. Um, there we go. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. Did you by chance have trouble waking up this morning? No. Really? Nothing's throwing you for a loop. Alarm talk clock still functional? Actually, I haven't used my alarm clock since I got here. My roommate Will wakes me up at the crack of dawn. Wow, last time I tried to pull one over on you, got plowed over by a screaming Ponita. Wow, now I managed to freeze time on your alarm clock just to find out that you don't use it. You messed with an alarm clock? How did you even get to my get my room? It was just unlocked. You really should be more careful about that. But don't worry, I didn't prank anything else. It was unlocked? I'll have to start double checking the door when I leave. Oh, speaking of pranks, what just happened? If you must know, someone clogged the cafeteria toilets with toilet paper. Or if you meant what happened a moment ago. Let's just say that a certain bird proved that he has a lot more caw than claw. Was he wrong then? Did somebody else do that? Plausible de deniability, Burrito. As long as you can say you might have not done the prank, you didn't officially do it. He has no business in nosing in my personal life. Well, I suppose, but you heard Abba. The first mom to see it reported it, and it took nothing more than a mop to sort it out. Besides, that's going to be the talk of the school for quite a while. 
We need something to liven up this democratic bore of a school. You put a lot of thought into these pranks. Me? Whoever said I clogged the toilets? Oh, right. Plausible deniability. Well, since that's hammered in your head, I heard Abby was looking for you. She wanted to tell you about something. Why does everyone know about this but me? Wow, no one spilled the berries yet? There's a record for- that's a record for this school. Anyway, she told me that she had about a half hour to catch up to you before her next club. Oh, thank you, Laser Gator. Now to check over here. Seriously, where could Abby be? I've been searching for the last 15 minutes. Why didn't you just tell me where the club meeting was? We could have met here. Her, met there and saved all this rushing around. I guess she was too much of a hurry after class. Well, it doesn't look like she's there either. Better move on. Hey, wait up! Abby! I'm so glad I found you before my next meeting. I was looking all over for you. You know you could have just told me where to meet you. Oh, I should have thought of that. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me, Burrito. No, I'm... Br Wait, you said my name correctly. My my nickname, I mean. <laughs> I'm good with faces, but it takes me time to get the name right. Laser Gator hated it when we called him Rock Croc at first. And one time I was talking to ATV and accidentally called him ATM. <laughs> After that, he kept following me around saying, Need some Pokebox? Ha ha ha. I don't really understand him sometimes. Rock Croc, ATM? How does Abby even come up with these nicknames? Anyway, back to business. It's time for the big reveal. Oh, right. I almost got distracted. Now, you may not have realized, but it's kind of unusual to get transfer students here. And a lot of moms I've talked to really want to get to know you better. Plus, it's the first weekend of the year, and so that really deserves some sort of party. So in short, my plan is to have an off-campus event to celebrate your arrival at Twitch Academy. I've invited lots of moms to come hang out in the mall together. The mall? That sounds like a typical Abbey location. Yep, it's one of my favorite places to go. There's so many quality stores, and some have pretty good deals. But there's other things to see and do if you're not into shopping. Like all the different dining options and even an arcade. Beside, isn't it not where you are but who you're with that really matters? Speaking of who, uh, uh, speaking of whom I, who I'm with, who else is coming? Alright, let's see. A few months I asked still have to get back to me, but as far as I know, Katie and Gator for sure. They were really excited when I asked them. Aaron and Brian can both both make it, and Abba just confirmed that his schedule was free. Plus me, and that's basically it. <laughs> See what you think. Are you excited? I can't wait. We're gonna have so much fun. Hmm, a trip to the mall with a bunch of moms from school? Sounds like a pretty big group, but at least I'll know everyone who's coming well I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to get to know every everyone a bit better after all the school year just started we're gonna be together for a while so I should make the most of this chance beside it's not like I had anything else planned this weekend and it does sound kind of fun though I really think it was Though I don't really think it was necessary for Abby to keep it a secret for this long. But it's obvious she put a lot of effort into it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll accept. Burrito, you've been quiet for a long time now. Do you actually have other plans for this weekend? Or are you not really interested? What? Uh, I, um... I knew I had to make it up to you after all that school tour confusion I caused earlier. Yes, and, um, I wasn't sure that you, what you'd like, but I wanted you to have fun. And hanging out with your friends is fun, right? Just calm down. Wait, you think it was me as a friend, right? I have a habit of just assuming stuff, so... Abby! 
Huh? Slow down. I haven't been able to get a word in. Oh, sorry. When I start talking, I just... I, it can be hard to stop. I was just taking my time thinking it over. And I'd love to go. Thanks for putting this event together. Really? Cool. I was worried there for a second, but I guess it was all in my head. No need to be worried. And my motto is, if you feel like asking if you're friends with someone, chances are you're already our friends. Huh. It does seem to fit you. So, I'll see you tomorrow then. The plan is to meet up at the mall. Sounds good. I'll be there. Great. I can't wait for tomorrow. Oops, I almost lost track of time. My next club meeting is in like five minutes. Gotta run. Alright, bye then. And there she goes. Off to another club. Well, at least I know her uh, know her big something now. No wonder all the mons I asked seem to know something about it. They were all invited. Come to think of it, this is my first real off-campus, not including Abby's tour. Abby mentioned rents, restaurants, right? I wonder if any of them sell burritos. I'm starting to get really excited about this. But I should save that for tomorrow. It's starting to get late. Better head back to the dorm. Hey, Will. Much better, thanks. Did you hear about the big event this weekend? Oops, Will wasn't invited to it. I hope he isn't sore about that. Maybe I should invite him. Would Abby mind? Would she be able to talk to him? Oh, well, are you busy over the weekend? Because you could come with me if you want. Really? Where are you going? It can't be too far away if it's only a weekend event. The Hill of Ancients? That's not in Kanto, is it? Wow, really? That's incredible. Who knows about this? Never seen it on a map. Huh? That's a valid point. Any anyway, um, you're probably heading off now, aren't you? Thought so. I better get prepared for the weekend. Well, mentally prepared. I guess there really isn't anything physical I need to prepare. I could lay out my clothes. But, hold on. Cater mentioned something about messing with my alarm clock. I should fix it for tomorrow. Will won't be here to wake me up, and I don't want to be late meeting up with everyone. All done. One less thing to worry about. Now, is there anything else I need to prepare for tomorrow? Nah, I'm, overthink nah, I'm overthinking things. I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and deal with tomorrow tomorrow. Can't wait for the weekend. Week one, day six. Yeah! Huh? What? Will? No, Will's gone. It's just my alarm. Why does my alarm so clock sound exactly like Will? Oh, yeah, um, today's the start of the weekend. I don't have school and Abby's got a big thing planned for me. This is great. I'd better get changed in my best clothes. Well, relatively speaking. Aw, looks so cute, burrito. I'll just get my breakfast and be on my way and wonder what I should have. <laughs> All the burritos, guys. What should we have for breakfast? What do you guys think we should... A burrito? A couple burritos. All the burritos are burritos infinity. Infinity and beyond. What do you guys think? Burritos Infinity! I have one vote for Burritos Infinity. I think that one's the funniest. A burrito. It's one for a burrito. burrito. Oh, is that all? One vote for all the burritos. One vote for Infinity. We need somebody to do a tiebreaker. Who's gonna get the tiebreaker here?
I guess I'll take the tiebreaker. I'm going to do infinity. I think that's kind of funny. Although, at the same time, we might have a tummy ache after all that. This, this is a lot of burritos. But then it truly any, <laughs> but then it is truly any more burritos than I started with. Can it be said I ate a certain amount of burritos? Could it be said that one who manages a conqueror, a hypothetical amount, has surpassed the need? Oh my goodness, this is going so fast. I don't even think I can read it all fast enough. I'm going to let you guys read that yourself. Oh, jeez. Having an existential crisis there. Oh, jeez. Didn't know a burrito could give us a, an existential crisis there. What is in those burritos? Okay, Abby said that we were meeting in front of the mall, right? And the mall is downtown. And I reached it before by getting lost while trying to get to tech class. So to get there again, I just need to get lost again. Where's dad's map? Hey, burrito, why are you still, um, still doing out front of school? Katie told me that Abby was having some kind of welcoming party for you. Hi, Pro Professor Lance. Uh, yeah, she invited me, but, um... I'm not sure I remember how to get to the mall. Oh, that's no problem. You can take Landspot for a spin. He'll lead you right there. Uh-oh. Isn't that right, Landspot? Consume. <laughs> what a kidder. Uh, thanks. Anytime. Have fun, burrito. Don't buy anything I wouldn't buy. And don't buy several things I would buy, c come to think of it. Purge. Oh dear. I don't know about this. And if I keep my eyes closed, everything will be okay. Right? Wrong. Can't tell which way is up anymore. Land spot, no barrel rolls. Confirmed. Whew, I almost lost my burritos out there. I mean, I, I totally couldn't handle it coming up the other way. Had one existential crisis. I can't have another throwing it up. Well, um, we're here. Thanks for leading me the right way. And not accidentally hyper-beaming my head off. Assimilate. Oh man, I really hope it gets back and leaves everything around it in one piece. If it destroys everything. Well, I don't think Professor Lance would mind all that much, but the police might. Hi there! Glad you can make it. Uh, er, hmm. She forgot my name again? It's Burrito Abby. Oh, that was my second guess. Um, after, um, Patea. Is that even a real food? Anyway, it's awesome to see that you're here. Everyone else has arrived, and we couldn't start without the mon we were wait and doing this for. Now, everyone could- not everyone can make it, unfortunately. Let's see. Didrat and Ducks are on, at school raiding the teacher's room for compromising information. I'm pretty sure ATV is unlocking the security doors for them. I think Ark is traveling to Kalos for a new hat again. He doesn't really seem to realize he only has one head. Oh, and Fawns is breaking all the new equipment in the gym. Er, don't you mean breaking in? Nope. Huh. Abby knows exactly what everyone's doing, even if she ha hasn't seen them recently. Imagine if she applied that sort of persistence to her schoolwork. But wait. I feel like someone's missing. Anyway, over here. Say hi to everyone. We've already met. Good morning, Brito. It's pleasant to see you again. You too. Hey, Burrito. How you doing? Great, thanks. Uh, hot, hi. Well, hello. Hi, Burrito. Hi. You look tired, Burrito. Are you boring or not exciting enough? Are we boring you or just not exciting enough? Um, well, it's just I said hello about five times now. 
Ha! <laughs> Hear that? Burrito doesn't want to say hi to us. I propose we poke this mon with sticks until we get a smile. Poke with sticks? That's pretty rude. Come on, Laser. Leave uh, I... Leave Breed alone. You know what time it is, right? It's time for us to start using our time in an appropriate manner. Ah, there you go again. I meant no offense, but... Party pooper, super duper. Every party has a pooper. Now really, this is really unbecoming. We are representing our school here. That's why we invited you. Every party has a pooper, that's why we invited you. Party pooper, stop, stop. Party pooper, party pooper. Go on having your pooping fun. Why did I agree to come here anyway? Because Ark promised you that he'd take care of the school while you were gone again? Well, yes, but wait, how do you... Hold up, I thought that Ark was... Well, it's been great talking to everyone, it sure has. Now let's move on and get this party started. Agreed. Ah, I'm ready for some good times today. Do you really like them all that much? Yep, it's my res refuge, my safe place, my party center. Ah, you're exaggerating, right? <laughs> Jeez, it wasn't that funny. Anyway, she totally deflected that. Since it's your first time at the mall, I'll give you a quick tour. Uh-oh. I remember Abby's last quick tour. But before that, I almost forgot to ask you an important question. What is it? Do you... like ice cream? Oh, yes. Great! That's our important question. Somehow I'm not that surprised. The food court right in front of us has a great ice cream shop. You're really going to have to try it sometime. Anyway, let's move on uh, to why everyone comes to the mall. Shopping, of course. The stores here carry lots of clothes and accessories. Oh, I love looking at all the accessories. Unique items come in occasion, so it pays to visit often. There are quite a range of stores from the high-end type to the bargains type. The variety is good for mons of all different backgrounds. This mall also has a bunch of specialty stores and other special outlets. For example, the arcade is down the hallway. I've been there several times. Oh, the arcade. I'm definitely going there today. There's a lot going... Uh, there are lots of really good games there. Hmm. It's been a while since I've been to the arcade here. That sounds like a great way to relax. And right across the way is the bookstore. I really don't go there often, but I suppose it's fine for some mons. Actually, I was thinking about stopping by sometime today. Oh, well then, that's not usually my thing, but I guess. Hmm. Huh? Uh, Abby seems speechless for once. And that's the end of the tour. Um, let's decide on what to do. Is something wrong? What's this about a tour? Oh, it's Mary. She really popped out of nowhere. Hi, Ma Mary? <laughs> didn't realize you were right there. Actually, I didn't expect you to s see you at the mall. Today? What's wrong with being at the mall today? It's the weekend, after all. Besides, I'm just here to pick up a new book at the bookstore. I was just wondering why your party was looking look, looking this way. Ah, party. Um, how did you know? Sigh. A party is just another word for a group of mons, like a posse, a clique, a fellowship. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, we're all just hanging out together, that's all. Nothing special. Now it seems like there's something strange going on. Whatever you made you think of that. Maybe I should say something. I don't want to get things getting too heated. Literally. Uh, um, guys? Hold on, Burrito. I'm just a little busy. Busy coming up with more excuses, you mean? Uh-oh. Did I make it worse? Uh-oh. Why are we bullying the floof? I don't want to bully the floof. I swear, Mary was me growing up in school. <laughs> I was the shy one in the corner that nobody talked to. 
Ladies, I'd hate to interrupt a conversation, but there's some kind of co conflict here. Hey, Petunia! Because as student council president, it's my job too. Hey, we're not even at school right now. Nevertheless, I hope to enforce order wherever I go. We want Burrito to enjoy this welcoming party, not bring it down into chaos. Oh, Abba. Welcoming party, huh? So that's what's up. Um. So I think our next course of action should be... I guess I'll be on my way then. Oh, she just ran off. Uh, uh okay then. That works too? Yeah, thanks for caring, taking care of that. Hey, what's the hold up? Well, oh, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Well, let's get this show on the road. We're going to the car ca arcade first. The arcade? I thought we were going to shopping. No? I, I, I want to get all the high scores. Shopping first, that's my priority. Yes, I do enjoy seeing all the latest, latest fashions. Plus, the ladies could use a gentleman, gentleman accompaniment. Hmm. I think I'll pass on that for him now. I'll just rather go to the arcade today. Um, guys, should I go to the big store on my own then? Oh, that's a great idea. Um, uh, Brian? Yeah, Brian? So, going off on my own is a great idea, really. No, no, I, what I meant was... We should just split up. Split up? Well, it makes more sense if we all did do different things. Oh, I thought I, we were all going to be together. No worries. We can all meet up later and do something as a one big group. Something as a group? <laughs> Maybe. How about that ice cream place you were talking about? Nice one, Burrito. That's perfect. Okay, now we'll split up for a few hours and meet up here for ice cream. Let's see. I think Katie and Abba and I want to go shopping. Aaron and Gator want to go to the arcade. And Brian's going to the bookstore. Sounds right. Uh, what about me? Well, you didn't say what you were interested in. Hmm. Whoops. I guess you do have a point. It's your party, so you get to do whatever you want today. So wherever you want to go. Hmm, this is a tough one. I don't really have anything in mind, but I just take this opportunity to hang out with them. I want to go... Hmm, where should we go, guys? Should we go shopping? We are at the mall. To the arcade. I am a gamer, but I don't really like air, and I don't really like Laser Gator. He's kind of a tool. I like Brian, and he is going by himself, and I feel sorry for Brian going by himself. But he's a little bit too emotional for me. But I do like Katie and I'm trying to woo her. What do you guys think? I think, I think I'm going to go shopping. I think that's the best choice there. We're at a mall, right? Of course, shopping is the thing to do. I'm ready for some shopping. Yes, I knew it. Oh, this would be so much fun. Shall we be off then? Okay. Now, where would we fit? Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you knew it, Petunia. Now, where should we visit first? Well, there's an accessory shop I was thinking about checking out. Oh, you must have met that one right that changes its products weekly? Yeah, I like seeing if anything new shows up. Sounds like a good start. Hmm, this sounds like an interesting business model. I have a few questions for the proprietors. Accessories? I don't really usually wear those kinds of things. Well, except bow ties. Bow ties are cool. I knew I liked this guy. Knew I liked him. Bow ties are cool. Sore fezzes. Thank you, Petunia Gal, for the hydrate. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's go. Let's 
do a double hydrate. My throat is just being weird today, guys. Sorry. I sound like I'm going back through puberty all over again. This has all kinds of accessories. Hats, bracelets, necklaces, ribbons, ties, watches. The list goes on. I bet I'll find something cool in there. Oh, it looks like they have new some new ribbons in. Wow, I've never seen Katie in a rush like that. I should bring her shopping more often. Well, as long as it's not what um not when you should be in class. <laughs> Oh, look at these hats. They're so cute. Wow, those two really know their way around here. Hmm, this seems like a pleasant shop. Excuse me, Burrito. I just want to have a word with the shopkeeper. You can find something interest you, I'm sure. Um, probably. There's quite a lot here. Excellent. In fact, I'm going to inspect those ties later. Okay, then. Um, everyone's gone off already. Guess I should ron wander around too. Let's see. What interesting stuff we can find. So if you wear it on your forehead, it's a headband. So if you wear it over your head, it's a bandana. If you wear it around your neck, it's a neckerchief. And yet you're marking it marketing it as a handkerchief? That's right. Beloved cover customer. But why not market it as a four in one product? This way, we can say we're swapping the product out every week when we're really only swapping out the label. This handkerchief also doubles as a bandit costume mask, a glasses cleaner, a screen cleaner, an, inst <laughs> an illustrated bandage, a chloroform holder, a uh, macor de poche, which is a calogian for handkerchief. Chef. Is that legal? Probably. Oh, hey, your friends are right behind you. Really? I just got duped, didn't I? I should have known better to trust a uh, Shifri. Hmm, these are some ni ha nice hats. I guess if I could start spicing up my attire. But then again, a hat would cover up my jewel. My mom always said it was a very nice one, so I wouldn't want to cover it up. Maybe, maybe I should just cut a hole in the brim of the hat. Although they're probably pretty pricey. I wouldn't want to ruin it. Excuse me, Aid? Um, yes. Um, you again. But weren't you just over there? Double team uh, is amazing, isn't it? Anyway, val valued wa wallet, I mean, I mean customer. What can I help you with? I just want to know what the price of this hat was. Let's see, this particular item is refreshing 80,000 80, Poké Dollars. Will that be cash on your uh, cash or your firstborn? What, what, no, and no! Shame. I just, I don't have that kind of money. No one has that kind of money. Why is it so expensive? This is the week that we say we've imported it from Lamo's Boutique. Did you? Probably. Oh, hey, your friends are right behind you. Oh, hardy har. I'm not falling for that again. Actually, we really are right behind you? Oh, hello. I didn't hear you, too. <laughs> um, they both really look good. Like, really good. Nice. Not helping, Shifri. Um, hi. Well, what do you think? Uh, about what? About our outfits, silly. Uh -huh, um. Thought this was an accessory shop. It has regular clothes, too? Yeah, I found a section in the back. Abby picked, uh, uh, um, picked some out to try on. And Abby picked them. She really does, does have a good sense of style. And wow, Katie looks amazing in that dress. I'm kind of surprised they found something so suitable in a shop like this. You both look really nice. Right. Which one of us looks better? What? I have to choose? I, I can't just... You can't just ask me out of the blue like that. 
Well, they both look good. Mm. Katie does look better, guys, but I don't want to insult Abby's feelings. But I, I want Abby and Katie to know that they look nice. But I like Katie. Guys, this is a conundrum. I can't pick the p between the two of them. Do you guys agree with me? I can't be mean to them. Abby's been so nice to me. Abby's been so nice to me all day. She went out of her way for this. She's a good friend, and I don't want to alienate that friendship. I really can't choose. I think those outfits suit you both really well. Well, that just means Abby did a good job of picking dresses. Thanks, it was fun to f shop with you. I wonder if Dad would buy me this dress. Well, let's find out. Excuse me, how much are these dresses? Well, you're in luck, ladies. Both dresses are in sale for 420 polka dollars each. What? That's quite a bit of money. Quite a bit. I never spent that amount of money on just one piece of clothing. Can you give us a discount for being two lovely ladies in desperate need of a su suitable outfits? Well, I can make an exception. 500000 for the pair. Well, that's quite a good deal. It's probably still making about 300% profit, but still a bit of our outside of our price range. Perhaps next time? Are you sure the dr those dresses may be gone by next week? Or at least relabeled? I think we'll be fine. Thanks. It was fun just trying them on. Do you know those dresses would be so expensive? Oh, that's the fun of shopping. Trying on things you can't afford, searching for those rare discounts. Hmm, I'm not convinced. I'd rather just look at things that I can afford. And now it's time to pick out something for you, Burrito. Me? A great idea, Abby. Hmm, what should Burrito try on? Well, it's not going to be a sweater, that's for sure. But I like sweaters. And that's fine, but I want to see you wear something different for once. And how about a vest? Oh, that'll work. A vest and a white shirt combo. It's always very classy. And to complete the look, I recommend this lovely bow accessory. It suits your color coloring perfectly. Um, perfect. Here, Burrito, go try all these on. You'll look great. But I just trust us. All right, then. Can't believe they talked me into this. Um, this vest is kind of like a sweater, I guess. It's not so bad. How do I look? Oh, Burrito, that look is perfect for you. Totally. Really? And you can get that entire outfit for the low, low price of... I don't want to hear it. It was kind of fun to try on, but I know it's out of my price range. You can try coming back next week. Maybe you'll find it on sale. Yeah, right. Well, I'm going to go change and look around some more before we move on. Good plan. I want to have one last look at the ribbons again. Yeah, it's probably time to change. I'll doubt, I doubt I'll have anything here that I can afford. Is there anything else you'd like to look at? No, I think I'm done. Perhaps I can interest you in... Ah, there you are. I had another question. Uh-oh. Is that another customer calling? Excuse me, you two. Hmm, I don't hear anyone. Ah, burrito. I almost didn't recognize you in that outf outfit. Not bad. Ah, uh, thanks. Were you trying to ask that sh Shiffrey something? Oh, the staff here keep avoiding my questions for some reason. And I was unsuccessful in finding a suitable tie. Maybe that's for the best. I mean, other shops might have better selections. True. So you're going to purchase that outfit? Uh, n oh no. I almost forgot to change. I'll go find the others. We'll meet you outside the entrance. 
Sounds good. So where are we heading next? Oh, I have just the place in mind. Are you sure about this? We could split up for now. A gentleman never abandons his escort duties, no matter where they may take him. And that's that. Uh, so where exactly are we going? <laughs> You'll know when we get there. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, are we really going in there? Yep, but but this is Victor Bell's secret. This place, I um, just come in. It's no big deal. Well, duty calls. Uh, I've heard some strange things about this store. Hopefully, that's not really what's in there. I never thought I'd end up here today. It's my first time in a store like this. I feel weird for some reason. Oh, Burita, did you know there are all kinds of ribbons here as well? Oh, really? Though most of them are lace, not my usual style. I, um... Okay, I think I'm feeling a bit too weird now. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. I might as well try on some while I'm here. Hey, what color suits me better? Black? White or black? I wanted to go with red, but I thought it might clash with my skin. <laughs> Can we get out of here now? Sorry, you're not having any fun? She looks so sad, I can't let her down. No, no, I just don't think I'm all that helpful with this sort of thing. Oh, I see. There is a selection over there that you could look around in. It's got a lot of, thi uh, a lot of items. Really? I'll check it out. Thanks for the tip. No problem. Guess I'll try to get Abba's opinion then. I think this is where Abby was talking about. There are scars, bags, even shoes. I think I feel better being in this section at least. Hmm. A lot of these items are either yellow or green. Guess that makes sense given this store's theme. Huh. I smell something. Sweet like honey. Hello there, burrito. Ah, uh, but is, is that smell coming from you? Unfortunately, yes. A salesman seemed to think it, I was interested in the perfume over here, there and gave me a free sample. But I think it's a bit strong. A bit strong. It's like the salesman poured a whole bottle over him. And then Abby wanted my advice on some apparel. But I don't think I was very helpful since she told me to come over here and keep you company. Poor Abba. Are you having a, having a good time at least? Oh yes, I don't come into the mall very often, so it's a nice change of pace. Though I'm a bit worried about leaving Ark to watch over the school. Yeah, about that. But it's the weekend, so everything should be fine. So you don't leave the school often, even on weekends? Well, I take my student council responsibilities very seriously. There's paperwork, school events, you know. And the rest of my time is taken up with learning about my family's business. So even if I leave for the weekend, it's not usually for breaks like this. Oh, what kind of business is it? We're involved in tourism and vacationing. I'm planning to join eventually, so I have to prepare myself. What about Brian? Is he joining the family business too? I'm sure he will eventually. Anyway, most of the time outside of class and student council is learning about our business. Well, I'm not surprised you have a clear idea of your future. I don't really have anything in mind for myself. Oh, maybe I should open up a burrito shop. That might be fun. A uh, burrito shop? You need a hook of some sort to draw in other mons in. Maybe a catchy no name, Burritos Burritos? <laughs> I like it. It's got my name and everything. God, I almost forgot Burrito isn't even my real name. Something's wrong? <laughs> Never mind. I wonder if Abby and Katie are done looking around yet. They've been at it for quite a while now. Oh. How's it going, you two? I think we're both ready to go if you and Abby are done. 
Yes, we are. Thanks for wait waiting. Did you find anything? That's a secret. Oh, Abby. Well, then, let's get going. Ah, out of there at last. And I think most of the perfume has faded away by now. Yeah, that's a lot better than before. Okay, one more store, and then I think it's time to meet up with everyone else. I'm kind of afraid to ask, but... What kind of store is it? Well, since we kind of got carried away with the last store, Katie and I wanted to bring you in a store we know you'd like. Oh, really? I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I'm kind of excited. Okay, here it is. Sweater couture? Of course, I should have guessed. It's a specialty store that's famous for its sweaters. A whole store dedicated to sweaters? Look at all those sweaters on display. I didn't know something like this ex existed. What do you think? I can, I can go in? <sighs> of course. Yes! There's so many different types of sweaters here. I hardly know where to begin. Excuse me? I, I don't think we serve mons in your position. What's that supposed to mean? Well, to be honest, judging by that sweater you've got on, I don't think you can afford our wares. Our sweaters are made of the finest wool. Excuse me, just because Brita's sweater is a bit worn doesn't mean he can't shop here. Worn? Well, it's my favorite sweater. That's right, you shouldn't judge a mon by their clothing. Well, we do reserve the right to refuse service to... Excuse me, my good mon, if I might have a word. Let me tell you about that Burrito here is a great friend of the family. Why, if my father heard that this fine establishment refused to assist in expanding a young espion's sweater collection? And just you, who do you think your father is, may I ask? Uh, well, that changes things. Um, please feel free to look around and let me know if I can assist you in any way. Thank you for your understanding. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to do sweater things. Wow, I can't believe that that just happened. Thanks, Abba. But how did you... My father happens to be a shareholder in this company. He actually has a fondest for sweaters as well. Anyway, let's look around. Let, let me know if you see anything you like. All right. Ah, uh, could it be? I think I've found one. A sweater, I mean. It's perfect, casual, yet elegant, with a simple design, a paragon of sweaters. That's great, Burrito. I knew you'd find something you'd like here. But, but that shop clerk was right. There's no way I can afford this one. Not to worry, Burrito. I'm using my family discount on this purchase. Uh, but... And Katie and I decided to help you out if there was anything you wanted here. We knew how expensive it might be after all. And more importantly, it's your party. It wouldn't be right without getting you some some kind of gift. But I wouldn't accept... But I couldn't accept all that. We won't take no for an answer. Well, in that case, thanks everyone. I'm never going to wear it. I'm never going to wear it so it won't get worn out. Don't say that. Yeah, clothes are meant to be worn. All right, maybe on special occasions. Are you ready to purchase then? Ah, yes. Ah, that was quite an experience. I hit a wrong button, it popped up the read me. I was like, that was weird. One second, guys. Pulling that back up. Ah, that was quite the experience. That's for sure. Luckily, we had Abba with us. Hmm. Did you have any connections, Abba? Maybe I should bring you shopping with me more often sometime. I don't think I should take advantage of that too often. It would be, it would be a misuse of my responsibility. Come on, it'll be fine. Well, we can get all kind of cool stuff. I'm sure other mons in your position do it all the time. That may be, but I'm not one of them. 
my apologies, but I cannot take part of your idea. It would not be proper. I suppose you're right, but I'm gonna go to bring this- I'm really going to bring this up again later. Hey, we're heading for ice cream next, right? Yep. Great. I'm ready to sit down after walking for so long. Yeah, shopping can be quite a workout. Now that you mention it, my paws are starting to feel sore. Well, at least I got some exercise in for the day. I'm about ready for a snack, actually. Alright, it's time for the best ice cream you've ever had. Uh, Abby, wait up! And somehow Abby's still full of energy. Today has gone by so fast. I can't believe it's already time to meet up with everyone. I'm looking forward to some delicious ice cream, even though it's not a burrito. Here we are, the ice cream shop. Hey, I think we're the last group here. Ha, don't worry, the party can't start without you. Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't organized it. This place is pretty crowded, especially with our group here as well. Are there going to be enough seats? Don't worry, we'll just push some tables together. There'll be pretty, plenty of room. Good idea. Ah, it's really warm today. I really could go for some ice cream. Sheesh. Can't wait for that ice cream. I'm burning up right now. Burrito sauce style. Tell me about it. I practically breathe fire. Second place as usual. I literally breathe fire. I'm literally bre breathing fire all the time. Out of my mouth and tail. I can breathe ice. A solid material. Beat that. I know dragon breath. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean I'm breathing dragons. Yo, dog, I heard you like dragon- You like dragon breathing, so I gave you breathing dragon that you can learn dragon breath, so your dragons can breathe while your dragon is- Hello, everyone. Can I- What can I get for you? Oh, looks like the server's coming to take orders. Thank goodness. Dragon was starting to sound like it wasn't a word anymore. Hmm, what flavor should I get? It's gonna take a while to decide, so there's so many th good options. Ask me last, please. I'm still deciding. Alright, anyone else ready? I'm ready. I'm t take the classic hot fudge sundae. And I'll take three scoops of Nepal Neapolitan. Good choice, too. Three flavors in one. Excuse me, I'd like a scoop of vanilla. And I was gonna get that, too, but... We're, uh, we're ice cream buddies. Pleasure, I'm sure. I think I'll have the mint chocolate chip, chip special. Got it. And what about you? Uh, wait, I haven't ordered. My apologies. What would you like? Um, Rocky Road, one scoop. Coming right up. Have you decided? I have no idea. I was too busy listening to everyone else. I guess I'll have to pick something. I'd like... Let's see. Two scoops of berry ice cream. I like a surprise. I'd like to be a surprising person. Let's go with a surprise. The daily surprise. Oh, the surprise. An adventurous one, huh? I'll be back with your orders shortly. So everyone's having a great time? Most definitely. The stores here are really actually interesting. But the others chipped in and it helped me get this really awesome sweater. Huh, you know what's really awesome? The arcade. Nothing quite beats really fun games with cheap credits. Hmm, what kind of games were there? I think it would be fu more fun if you found out for yourself, though. You should check it out sometime. Uh, I think it fun is subjective. I can't imagine Burrito being fond of, of being fond of books. Burrito might find that fun, too. I can imagine Burrito being fond of books. Burrito might find that fun, too. And the bookstore here is great. They have all kinds of books, latest releases, popular and bestsellers, niche books. It has it all. And the bookstore, huh? Guess it's been a while since I've read a r real good book. Glad I brought it up, then. Um, when you have time, go have a look. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. Maybe I'll check it out sometime. It's been a really great day hanging out with you all. Though I'm really glad to be sitting down and relaxing after all that walking around. I suppose it was good to get some physical activity. 
Walking is very beneficial exercise, I hear. Ugh, I hate walking or running. It's so much easier to move around on ice. I suppose it'd be good to stretch my wings as well. I haven't had much time for exercise lately. Maybe I'll see if Ark wants to fly the next time we're, we make our rounds of the school. You know you're always welcome to join us, Brian. You have exceptionally fly you have exceptional flying abilities that outmatch even mine, considering nurturing that more. Uh, thanks. I'll I'll think about it. I think I've been spending too much toys time indoors too. Science club duties have been taking up a lot of my free time. I know what you mean. I've been so busy with all my clubs. So busy that you usually sleep in long enough to miss roll call. <laughs> hey, the server's coming. Who's ready for some ice cream? I am. All right, here's your order. Thanks. Hmm, the daily surprise. Guess I'll give it a try. Hmm, strange taste. Almost like cold pumpkin sp soup with spices. Pumpkin flavored, it seems like it. I've never really eaten cold pumpkin before, so this taste is pretty new to me. I just hope they didn't use real pumpkin punkaboos for this. How's your ice cream burrito? It's really good. You're right about this place. Well, I do know all the best places to eat around here. And you can't beat cold ice cream on a hot day. Though, I always have to remember to keep my tail from getting too close or else it'll melt. Yeah, that would be a problem. Anyway, I'm getting... I'm glad you're enjoying it. And what about everyone else? Oh, I'm doing great. And the ice cream? Oh yeah, that's good too. It's just what I was in the mood for. Thanks. And this outing has been most satisfactory. Ah, that ice cream really hit the spot. And I haven't had ice cream this delicious, delicious in years. I must make a note of this location for future patronage. And it'd probably make some of this if I had the right ingredients. I'm not as good as a cook as burrito. But my grandma taught me a bunch of stuff about making ice cream and sherbet and shaved ice. And well, you get the idea. She was a big into ice themed desserts. Well, shoot. I can't wait for that long for another Neapolitan. Get in there and make me another. Um, are you sure? You're not worried I prank it somehow? You prank? I don't think... Alright, one ice cream sundae coming up with extra hot sauce. Wait, I don't want to breathe, breathe fire again. Then you can order your own if you're so hungry. Uh, I might do that. Cooking seems like a good skill to have, though. It'd be nice if Dad actually learned to make food properly. He tends to burn everything he's making or else it explodes. It's actually not too hard if you put in effort. Sometimes I think he puts all his effort into causing problems. Cooking is pretty fun, but with my family it's a group, group effort. Maybe you should try cooking together. Hmm, that could work as long as it, I, if I keep him from the oven. It really is nice sitting around with some good food, chatting with your friends. So nice. Hmm. Something feels strange. I don't think it was the ice cream, though. It feels more like someone's watching me. But who could it be? I don't recognize anyone else in here. Everyone else in the groom's group seems preoccupied, so it's definitely not them. Though there is one mon sitting alone a few tables away behind a book. The scene seems oddly from Burrito! Uh, what is it? Whoops, sorry. Anyway, you, you eat ice cream way fast. Really? Did I make a mess? But that mon behind the book? No, not really. We already cleaned it up. But you might actually be a bigger eater than Gator. Wait, what? Hey, I'm not that gluttonous, am I? Nah, just kidding. I don't think anyone's appetite, or appetite is larger than Gator's. 
Speaking of which, Gator is about to take ice cream challenge. Ice cream challenge? You have to eat a certain amount of ice cream before the time runs out. If you finish it all, you don't have to pay. That does sound like something Gator would do. You should watch. It's been really hit. It'll, it's gonna be really hilarious. Ready? Please. I have like five cones in my hand right now. Ice cream challenge start. Crap. One of them is melting already. I should have brought a camera with me. Would it be a fine? Uh, it would be a fine shot for sales presentations and the how not to present self section. Hey, I heard that. Oh, speaking of cameras, there's one thing that I we can't miss doing at a, on a party. Oh wait, let me fix my ribbon first. You catch on fast. Groupie time. Wait, what? I suppose it's all right to have such an informal shot. I mean, I don't usually see Laser Gator as a prim and proper mon, so I'm not surprised. Oh wait, don't block me from the shot. Whoops, sorry, dude. Can't help it with my size. You should go out in front then. Uh, uh, getting very cramped up in here. Are you are you sure this is okay? No, it's not. Ah! Brain freeze! There, that looks perfect. She's taking Gator's picture like this on purpose, isn't she? Brian, would you please fix your head feathers for once? Sorry, I kind of like it like it like this. Well, if you insist. All right, everyone. Ah, Abby, there's no more room. Just don't br Smile, everyone. Ah! Whoa, wait. Aw, what a sweet picture. Oh, Mary's right there. Aw. Great picture, everyone. Come on, you should have waited until we I was done with the challenge. Oh, you'll be fine. Plus, it's such a great shot. Whatever, I still got ice cream to finish. I've got to send this photo to everyone. Well, that was memorable. However, the day appears to be coming to a close. I suppose we must be on our way back to the school. Digla truly roars louder when one is enraptured. Yeah, we really do have to be heading back now. Uh, so, uh, see you soon, Burrito. Hmm. Say, Burrito, are you busy tomorrow morning? Um, I, I don't think so. Oh, good idea. Invite Burrito. Hmm. Would you care to invite us for a religious service? The local church of Arceus welcomes Mond of all different backgrounds. You should come with us. I mean, we really like it. Religious service? You mean like churches and stuff like that? Well, um, I've never actually been to a church before. My parents were never interested in that sort of thing. I mean, I do use Arceus's name a lot, but so do a lot of Mons who aren't religious. Still, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try one time. Abba and Brian will be there after all. Sure, I don't really have any other plans. Great, we'll see you soon. Splendid. Would you, um, would anyone er else care to join us? Katie? Abby? Ah, oh, sorry, I'm working on building a new type of battery for Dad's inventions, so hopefully they blow up less off often. Though, I would love spending some more time with you guys. Oh, well, good luck with your project, Katie. Thanks, Brian. Clearly, that battery's been been working great for you. Well, I haven't gotten far, very far yet. Sorry, I, I'll be busy tomorrow, too. Just doing, um, stuff. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing nothing. I bet my nothing is a whole lot of more nothing than your nothing. Somehow, I get the feeling that those two are talking about two different kinds of nothing. I can't make it. I'll be busy with Ultra Ball practice tomorrow. Well, that's a shame, everyone. Still, I'm sure that I'll get another chance to meet up soon. See you soon, Burrito. Surely I can ask all of you to... Surely I can ask all of you to reconsider. There's a myriad of benefits associated with spiritual awakenings, not the least of which is, hey, I've said, I've said goodbye three times now. Are you actually going to leave or am I going to have to say see you soon again? Ah, yes, very so sorry. I do get caught up sometimes and 
Anyway, we shall stop by your dorm bright and early in the morning, Burrito. Okay, looking forward to it. See you soon, Burrito. Bye, Burrito. See you at school. See you, Burrito. Stay cool. Bye, you two. Bye, Burrito. Wait till you see what happens tomorrow. Huh. Not that I know anything that will happen tomorrow. It's just a gut instinct. A gut instinct? Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, great turnout, right? I just love that feeling when all your plans come together perfectly. Yeah, it was an awesome day. Thanks for the party and everything, Abby. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, Burrito. I admit, I love throwing parties, but this one is really special. Anyway, I've got to get going. Adios! And it choked. I better head back to. Wow, what a day. I really have the greatest friends. It's only been a week or so, but I've already gotten to know so many nice bonds. And there are there'll be many more chances to get closer to them. There's still this odd feeling that some someone seems to be missing, but I couldn't get my mind off the great time I had today. I never thought I'd have this kind of reception before I arrived here. I'm pretty lucky. Whew, what a long, long day. Will, are you back? Huh, nothing? Does that mean he's not back from his trip yet? Hmm. It's not too late yet. And I better be putting away my new sweater. Ah, oh, this is a really good choice. Hmm. I know I said I'd only wear it on special occasions, but I kind of want to put it on right now. Will's not here yet. I think I'll put it on just for a few minutes. Ah, oh, it really is comfortable. Everyone should wear a sweater like this. Mom? Dad? Everyone at school? Oh, I think I zoned out for there for a bit. I was only thinking what it would be like if everyone in Kansu wore sweaters. What a paradise. Anyway, I better change back now. I don't want to get my sweater all wrinkled. That was a bit awkward. Hmm. How long was I zoned out for? Wait, it's evening already? I'd better get to bed, and Will's not back yet. Well, he was probably planning to get back late. I'll just leave a nightlight on for him. <sighs> yep, it's time for bed. And with that, it actually is time for bed for me as well. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with this. Um... And I've been having a lot of fun with these as well, in general. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I'm going to keep this up through, um, most likely next weekend as well. Or, um, But I will be around most likely tomorrow night to stream um, Monopoly. So if you guys are still around and hanging out, um, yeah, come on and join us. And I want to thank everybody for following and hanging out tonight. Um, Skyright for the bits and for everybody just hanging out and chat. You guys are amazing as always. I appreciate you guys every single bit of you. And um, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it, Hatful Gamer. Like, it's a really great series. It's a really great game and I'm really looking forward to hanging out and doing it some more. So, till next time, as always, I am replaying these on YouTube. So, if you guys didn't catch all of the stream, you guys can go over to RSD Angel on Fire on YouTube, and the replay will be up in a day or so. Until next time, as always, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!